In this video, I will show you what is needed for Forescan to work, how to install it, and how to license it. Okay, so the first thing that you will need to do is go to Forescan.org and download the OS. Okay, so in this case, it'll be Windows 10. So click here and download it. And then, of course, install it. Okay, I need to get the license for it. Go ahead and register. Okay, so it looks like now I have to wait for the account activation to occur. In the meantime, um, go ahead and unbox and install the drivers for this. So here is one that I purchased. There'll be a link down in the description for the exact item that I purchased. This is off of Amazon. So I didn't want with the USB one. I did not want to have to deal with uh, Bluetooth and Wi-Fi and all that stuff. I wanted to be able to know that it's connected. So. Okay. Uh, next, plug in the OBD2 device. Go to the website for the drivers, which in my case is BB Fly obd.com and then look up the model which this is the model that I have I, TT55502 download the driver and then should be good to go device is ready USB is serial is set up and ready to go so it looks like the driver's auto installed Okay, next you'll have to register for the forum. After you've registered for the forum and they have activated, you'll need to register the software, license the software. So to do to that, log into the forum, then go to general support, general and support, then go to standard and extended licenses for Windows. So I'm going to go for the free two months trial extended license. And so here are the directions right here. Go to Forescan and on the last tab, copy this hardware ID to the clipboard just by selecting that button. Okay, generate a trial license. Paste in your hardware ID. Then select generate. Then I'll click on download. And go back. Download the license key. I'm going to do show and folder so I know exactly where it went. And of course it went into my downloads. Load license key, browse out to that folder. And now I have a licensed version. Okay, once the activation code has been installed, the driver has been installed, the last configuration that you'll need to do is go to settings. And here you can change your measurement to metric or imperial. I'll set mine to imperial. Then select connection and change the connection type if using USB to COM 
and I left everything else at default. So now when I plug in the OBD2 connector, it should find it. So we're plugged in, but not plugged into the car right now. Go down here to the connection and hit connect to vehicle. And again, I'm not connected to the car, so it won't actually connect to the car, but I should see it connect to the connector. There we go. So next up, go out to the car, plug it in, and let's use it. Plug in this module to my OBD2 port, like so. So plug in my ELM. Okay, now connect it and hit connect to vehicle. I've already saved the configuration. That is a really good idea to save the configuration before you start doing anything. Because uh, you do not want to screw it up. Ford Fusion. Have a sport model. Okay, so now it's going to ask me to set the switch. Uh, in this case, I started off with it in the right position. Then I go to the left, hit OK, and it should read the rest of the data. Now Forescan is set up and ready to go. Feel free to write down there in the comments about what you intend to use Forescan to modify on your car or truck. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please select like down there and subscribe to my channel. If you didn't like it, well, subscribe to the channel. Maybe you like the next one. Thank you for watching.